and right now I'm going to be talking about the series that I have completed recently. I posted a video talking about my uh, completed series about a year ago, so these are the series that I've completed since then, which is more than I thought I did. So that's good, that's some progress we got there, because if you know me, you know that I'm great at completing series. I'm 100% amazing at it. And if you know me, I'm lying, because I'm not. I'm not good at that. Um, but I think there's like 10. If, I, if my brain is counting right, which it's probably not. Um, but let's just go ahead and get started because I do accomplish things in life and these are some of them. So let's get started. The first series that I'm gonna talk about that I've completed is the Grisha Trilogy by Leigh Bardugo. I have, um, the, my journey through reading this trilogy was quite up and down. I loved it, I was like, ugh, kinda bored, and then I was like, why is this happening? Then I was like, this is amazing. So, um, obviously I have mixed feelings about this, but the first book I gave 4 out of 5 stars, the second book, I, what the hell is that book called? I don't know what it's called. But I gave it 3.5 out of 5 stars, I think, and the last book I gave 4.5 out of 5 stars. I enjoyed the ending a lot more than I thought I would, so overall I would give this trilogy 4 out of 5 stars. I did have a lot of problems with it, but it was still quite enjoyable. So the next trilogy that I've completed is the White Hot Kiss, or sorry, the Dark Elements trilogy by Jennifer Armentrout, and this is a trilogy where you want to read every single book in public because the covers just, you need to do that because the covers really draw attention and you're going to get a lot of questions and a lot of good stares, and it's just a really good time. This is a is it like a paranormal romance or is it an urban fantasy? I think it's like both. Um, but it deals with gargoyles. It's really unique and super fun. I love the characters, even though, what was his name? The demon in this was really annoying in the first book and I hated him. And I liked the other gargoyle. <laughs> Sounds so strange. But um, I gave the first book four out of five stars, the second book three out of five stars, and the last book four out of five stars. So overall, I would give this trilogy four out of five stars. And if you're looking to get out of a reading slump, Jennifer L. Armentrout is your girl. This book is actually personalized to me because I met this wonderful woman at BookCon. She's super nice. This thing I'm gonna talk about that I've completed is the To All the Boys I've Loved Before duology by Jenny Han. I gave the first book five out of five stars and the second book four and a half out of five stars. I absolutely love this duology. I did have problems with the way it ended. Um, that being said, I enjoyed it for how real it was and I understood it. It was complicated and realistic. Um, I love Lara Jean, and if you are annoyed by her, I totally understand. When I first picked this book up and I was reading it, I was like, literally, I'm reading from the perspective of a 12-year-old because she is immature, and she's very naive, and a tad, she's a tad annoying, but I absolutely love that about her. I love the family, I love that she bakes, because I suck at baking and I'm trying to be a good baker, um, and I think that she's inspired that a lot about me or in me, and I think that I'm going to be a professional baker because of Laura Jean. Well, I would give this duology a four and a half out of five stars. The next trilogy that I've completed is the Under the Never Sky trilogy by Veronica Rossi, and this is a trilogy, it's hard to describe, it's like a po ugh, dystopian sci-fi-ish trilogy, very unique, super unique. Um, it was one of those series where I went into not expecting a lot and I came out of like, whoa, that was great. And I gave the first book four and a half out of five stars, the second book four out of five stars, and the last book four and a half out of five stars. So overall, I would give this trilogy a four and a half out of five stars. Um, it was amazing. I still think about it. Definitely recommend it. The next trilogy that I've completed is the Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children's Trilogy, or the Peculiar Children Trilogy. That is a tongue twister. Have you guys seen the trailer? It looks good. It looks good. I'm very, very excited to see that one. And if you are skeptical about picking this up because it like kind of looks creepy, do you see she's she's a creepy little girl on the cover? And also there's pictures. There's like a floating baby. How creepy is that? And also this girl's in a jar. So don't don't trust a girl in a jar because like how'd you even get in there? But um, it's not creepy really at all. It's just um, fun and unique. And I gave the first book four out of five stars, the second book, Hollow City, four and a half out of five stars, and the last book, four out of five stars. The last book kind of got on my nerves a little bit, but I still absolutely love this trilogy, and I would give it four out of five stars overall. The next trilogy I've completed is the Legend Trilogy by Marie Lu, and I have a lot of mixed feelings about this one because I really enjoyed the first two books. I read them a long time ago. I read the first, I read, I read Legend in high school, which... You're probably looking at me like, you're, you're not in high school? No, I'm not. I'm a sophomore in college. So I read this, I think, my junior year of high school. 
and I really enjoyed it. And then I read Prodigy like a year later, and I really enjoyed that one. And then I read Champion recently, and I hated it. I, I gave it two out of five stars, but I would give it like one out of five stars after I the, really think about it, because I absolutely hated it. It was boring, and then also I hated the ending. Um, so there's that. So I'm, I'm not even going to give it a rating because I wouldn't recommend this trilogy on the way that it ended. So, yeah. The next series that I have completed is the Dark Fever series by Karen Marie Monning. Or actually, I think it's called the Michaela Lane series. Um, this is a really cool adult urban fantasy series about Faye and it's set in Dublin, which is super, super awesome. And very creepy and just different. And there's just this one guy that you hate but you love and um, a protagonist you want to punch in the face all the time, but she's also really awesome. So I, there's like six books or five in this series, don't know because I read them pretty much back to back and I gave everyone I think four out of five stars except the last one which I gave four and a half out of five stars. So overall I would give this series a four out of five stars. Next thing I've completed is a duology and that is the Book of Ivy duology by Amy Engel. This is the second book because I lent the first book out to a friend and you know how that goes. It's been it's been 84 years. Um, I really enjoyed the first book. I gave it four and a half out of five stars. And this one I gave three out of five stars, I think. I really enjoyed it. It was just a little bit disappointing. So overall, I would give this duology a three and a half out of five stars. The next series that I've completed is The Lunar Chronicles by Marissa Mayer. I'm kind of, kind of cheating because I didn't 100% complete this because I still have to read the novellas. Would, um, and I do plan on reading Stars Above, but I do not plan on reading the half book thing that's set in Lavana's perspective because I'm just, to be honest, not really interested in that. But I absolutely love this series. I gave um, Cress or I gave Cinder three out of five stars, Scarlet four out of five stars, Cress five out of five stars, Winter five out of five stars. Winter pretty much I gave like a hundred out of five stars because that was my favorite of the series. Such an awesome conclu conclusion, and this is one of my favorite series overall in all my life. In all my 19 years of living, this is one of my favorite series, which is super awesome because it's sci-fi, and sci-fi is really not my favorite. And I just, I'm just so happy that I gave this series a chance. Um, and I just love these characters, Captain Thorne. <laughs> love that guy. The last trilogy that I've completed, I completed for the Slay That series readathon. So look at me being very productive. And that is the uh, Angel Fall, or actually it's the Penryn and the End of the Days trilogy by Susan E.E. E., or is it Susan E.? Um, I read the first two books like a year and a half ago, love them, so I gave the first book four out of five stars, the second book three and a half out of five stars, and the last book I completed, End of Days, I gave four out of five stars. This deals with, obviously, I'm sure you all know, an angel apocalypse that makes zombies look like fluffy little teddy bears. So, yes, I really, really enjoyed this, and overall I would give it four out of five stars. For all the series that I have pretty recently, in the past year, completed. So good for me. If there are series that you've completed, let me know, or let me know series that you like marathoned, because there are some series that I have marathoned because I just couldn't get enough, and I absolutely love that. I love to experience that love. So if you have any recommendations for those series, please let me know, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you're having a great time wherever you're at, and I'll see you in my next one.